Howdly doodly everybody, we are here. We're filming most of this on National Reptile Awareness Day, so that's pretty cool, but the time has finally come for the full reptile room tour here, and you're gonna get to meet all of the pets we have at Red Ribbon Reptiles, and Bartaby is happy to show off, so. Like this video and subscribe to our channel if you're interested in the pets that we have, and uh, yeah, we all hope you like it, so enjoy. <laughs> start things off here with the man the myth the legend master roshi master roshi is a leopard gecko a patternless one at that as you see no spots on them these guys are insectivores so they only eat their insects and they are native to places like pakistan india iran uh that area of the world but roshi and the and the next two animals we're going in gotcha order they're from PetSmart, and truth be told it's not the best way to get your reptiles and I'm thinking about doing a whole video about that itself. So just keep that in mind. We were we were new. We were so we were so young, weren't we, Roshi? But this guy is just the sweetest, calmest little derp of a geck and we love him. And he started it all. And there's not too much more to say. Next we have Kami, another leopard gecko, so I won't bore you with the details about that. Looks like he's gearing up for a shed. They actually eat their shed, which is pretty cool. As it peels off of them, they eat it. We don't know if that's for nutrition purposes or if it's simply because they don't want to be, they don't want their location to be known. Could be either, either way, it's pretty cool. Yeah, this guy though, you know, in contrast to Roshi, is just so jumpy, super shy bit bigger too he's a big boy loves his food a lot more than Roshi does um, but he's just great too we love him and of course this is Bartaby she is a bearded lady dragon these guys are native to Australia this is the central locality so you're looking at the middle of Australia they are omnivores now that she's all all grown up she's about a year and a half probably closing in on two years now now that she's all grown up, she's eating mostly greens when she wants to. Uh, she doesn't get bugs as much as she used to or would like to, but that's okay because we're keeping her healthy. She's probably the queen of this room, uh, I'm not going to lie. Just the best, so friendly, an amazing, super calm lizard. I can't say enough good things about these guys. Cool thing about her is every time we are doing anything with bugs in the room here she will spot them from up to a mile away and want them and then get mad at us when we don't give them to her isn't that right bartaby yep that's bartaby now this is billy she's a blue-eyed leucistic ball python more specifically a super mojave so both her parents gave her the mojave gene that's why she's got a little bit of a silver bullet kind of head there and uh, I don't know if you could tell, but she's super deep in the blue. So we're gonna try to keep this quick. She lives in this tub right here. And we've had her in there for a while. She's pretty much grown out of it now, but we do have a plan for new enclosures as we alluded to in our last video. We got her from Reptile Rapture, which is actually just an amazing pet shop in Monona, Wisconsin. Check it out and see what they got available. They do a great job and they take good care of their animals. Since day one, she's been both just the sweetest snake, even now when she can barely see. She's not too nervous. She's definitely not as happy as she usually is when she's out here with me, but that's okay. She's also been just a great eater. She has not missed a meal for us. She's nice and chunky. She's growing just like a ball python should, born in 2020. And yeah, really no complaints about this girl right here. She's just amazing. And she's named after Billie Eilish because... Can't really tell right now what her eyes usually look like, but she's got those ocean eyes. And this is Mansa Musa. He's a little Saharan Euromastix. These guys are obviously from the Sahara Desert. He's a yellow one. They also come in red. We got him off of a f Facebook group, actually, and really not too sure how old he is. I think he was wild caught originally and brought to the States here to be a little pet. I don't know if I agree with that, but he was already here, so, you know, we're happy to have him. 
This man is 100% vegan. Um, I've heard them described as like tortoises without shells, and that's a pretty good, I think that's a pretty good description of them. They, even though they are vegans though, they do have these really powerful jaws they use to eat things like lentils and bird seeds. And this guy is super shy, as you could tell, he's being a little jumpy, a little bit skittish, but he's making a lot of progress. We're finally hand feeding him. I think things are going well here for Mansa Musa, named after the richest man ever to live, a uh, king of... Mali? In Africa? Ancient times? And here's the man, the myth, the poop monster, Bubbles. Bubbles is a Malayan box turtle or Amboina box turtle. These guys are from Southeast Asia and they are omnivores, but they definitely need more protein. Or, you know, it's roughly 50-50, but they definitely like their protein. Really big fan of fruit as well. Bubbles loves blueberries. We've done a couple videos on him already, so you could check, check those out right here. He's just great. We're happy to get him closer to health. Look at that giraffe neck. I got his diaper on. And yeah, that's Bubbles. Next up, uh, you're gonna see, I can't really handle them, so you're gonna see some footage of them rolling, but we have two gray tree frogs. And now they're both actually field collected. And I don't, agree with taking animals out of their natural habitat to keep them as pets but pretty unique situation on both these little guys here uh one of them harry the bigger one was uh kidnapped by some of my friends and lived in a dorm room for months and they lost him and they were like oh well we don't know where he is and then someone was moving out and they found harry so it was already winter time you know so he didn't have time to winterize himself so he had to be kept in captivity and I don't know if he'd make it now because in the wild because we just we feed him we give the food right to him but uh the other one the smaller one milana we believe is a female milana actually we were back in new york at home visiting my parents and in their bathroom they found a little gray tree frog and it was completely it was wrapped in hair it was pretty dehydrated and Due to it being wrapped in the hair and stuff, I think it kind of messed itself up. It was kind of like all kind of tangled up. So we thought it'd probably be best if we just took care of it as well. So that's those guys. Uh, they're great. Food, love food. Also, I really like the gray. It almost looks like a gray digi camo. I think this is like one of the most underrated frog species. Super easy to care for. Super cool to watch. Uh, yeah, great little animals. Next up, we have the most deadly invasive species probably on the planet earth any guesses three two one it's a kitty cat uh, <laughs> these guys this is matcha by the way um so we adopted them through delta animal shelter at PetSmart. um they what they do is delta will put animals in PetSmart in a more populated location with like the city that we're in And they'll set the animals up in a more pop. Just hit one second. They'll set the animals up in a more populated location um, compared to a lot of the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And um, yeah, so that way they can get adopted out. And she was already bonded with another cat. And just oh, we love these guys. They're a pain in the butt. They like to harass the reptiles, but they are just amazing predators and really just fun to watch and interact with. And sometimes they let us hold them like this and you're so cute, Macha. You're so cute. And this is Mochi. Uh, Mochi is Macha's, we call them sisters, but they're more like lovers. They are all over each other all the time. Mochi really doesn't like the holds, but she was, she was super shy when we got her she disappeared under the, our bed and would not come out she said mochi 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 please please okay so yep but she is just the cutest little thing she was also so scrawny when we got her but she has put on a lot of weight she's beefy she's a big girl um yeah again just great to have little mini super predators in your house these things are just Deadly, aka Squeaky, aka Mochi Squeaky, Pee Pee Kiki, right? And this is Melon. Uh, we're right in front of his jungle right now. He's not the biggest fan of handling, but he's come a really long way. We got him from Chromatic Chameleons. 
great breeder, really cool, really responsive, uh, amazing animal that they produce. These guys come from Madagascar and he's got these blues going because he's a nosy bay locality. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm keeping my eye on them because I don't want them to do anything crazy. These guys will actually just drop and fall like leaves out of a tree when they feel that threatened. But I think he's gotten past that point, at least. Uh, yeah, looks like he wants to go home, so we're gonna kinda wrap this up. But he was born in February 2021, so he's still pretty young, but he's nice and beefy, and we love him. Right, Melanie? And this is Trips. He comes to us from Ward's Ward's World of Reptile Propagation down in Florida, a cool breeder. Yeah, no complaints with this guy either. Uh, don't be afraid to check them out too. He is our male ball python and he has a bunch of different genes in him. He's a banana, a lesser, a black pastel, a pinstripe, and yeah, that's it. He's just, he is a great little snake. He's very timid, a lot less so now. Uh, you know, Trips actually had a run-in with our cats. We had him in a secured tub. The lid was secured on there well, and the cats couldn't get to him. But they did yank his tub down by the cord to its heat mat. So, um, yeah, he didn't have a great night that night, but we did a lot of work with him. You can see some of the wounds are still there on him. Yeah, it's definitely not a, our proudest moment, but we got him through it. And uh, he actually wasn't eating when that happened, and he's eating now, and he's been eating ever since he started eating. He's just doing great. He's growing really well. Yeah, he's making a lot of progress with us, and he's going to be Billy's boyfriend, so he's going to have to step up and handle all of that. You know what I'm saying? And this right here is Stevie Nix, and she's just a corn snake. The only reason I say just is because of how popular they are, but, you know, not because she isn't just absolutely incredible because she is she's really an awesome little snake uh when we first got her she was able to just wrap around my finger and kind of hang out there and now as you can see she's gotten quite a bit bigger than that here's the enclosure that she lives in we got stevie off a facebook group and nothing wrong with that um you know it's sad that her keeper had to let her go, but we're happy to take her on, and she's just amazing. Great little eater, adorable, um, super nippy as a baby, super nippy, but she's calmed down. She's just pretty flighty now. She likes to get away, you know? She's a she's a runner. She attracts star, you know what I'm saying? Um, she's got this. I'm going to see if I can show you guys. She's got a little heart on the top of her head. It's upside down there, but... Yeah, just really an amazing little snake. Uh, I love the coloration, the red on her. It's just, can't wait for her to get close to five feet. And yeah, I love having her around. Next, we'll talk a little bit about our little girl, Sheila. Uh, Sheila is a prickly gecko or a binose gecko. These guys are also out of Australia. Just a tiny little micro gecko uh, with a lot of personality, great food drive. We're, you know, we're excited to finally have her off of eating just fruit flies. She was pretty tiny for a while now. You know, little baby black soldier fly larva, little baby mealworms, little baby doobie roaches. She loves them all. It you know, does the little tail wag when she's hunting. It's, it's great. It's beautiful. Cool thing about these guys is they are actually parthenogenic. So every member of the species is female and they're able to reproduce by kind of just cloning themselves and popping out a couple eggs at a time and making some more Sheilas, and she's out of Australia, and it's a bunch of, you know, a bunch of girls. Australia, they call girls Sheilas. We just thought it fit. Leroy Jenkins! <laughs> this is Leroy Jenkins. Um, <laughs> he's a Greek tortoise, so we got him. Same place we got Bubbles, that not-so-great job I had, where they took not-so-great care of their animals. And Leroy actually lived in what was basically a green iguana's toilet so we're happy to have him out of there like i said he's a greek tortoise so funny story this is almost certainly the species that aesop wrote the tail the tortoise and the hare about which makes a whole lot of sense because he does not stop moving doesn't stop he's trying right now um this guy in particular, I don't know if it's all of them are like this or what, but he is really not fond of any other animal. He just he just tries to bulldoze anything that's in his path. Also vegan, of course. Uh, <laughs> he loves his greens. He's not such a big fan as, of vegetables as some of my other omnivores or vegetarians are. 
because he is a grassland tortoise and you know so most of what he's gonna find is like weeds leafy greens that kind of thing but based on counting his scoots he's it's never perfect so he's probably anywhere between like 20 and 30 years old uh but these guys actually can live up to or even over in some cases 200 years so we're <laughs> really happy to have him i hope my grandkids like him amazing little guy i'll grab one with me here uh, he's blending in really well but anyway these we have three pet space aliens uh more commonly known as mantids uh on earth but these guys are just so cool we have him he's a giant shield mantis he's not so giant yet but he's growing we also have a spiny flower mantis and a ghost mantis these things are just amazing. I think they're the best pet invertebrate. Care is, is simple enough. Uh, there are things to look out for that you want to be careful of, but just like anything else, uh, watching them eat is just great. I'm going to play some footage for you guys of them eating. And yeah, we got these guys from Mantis Dojo online. You know, no complaints with them. They were really good. They sent us, uh, we got extra supplies, a pair of feeding tongs. We got funnels for them. It just really great you should check them out if you're in into mantises and thinking about it yeah these guys are just cool. so cool them too finally off of fruit flies so they're eating you know fun bigger things getting bigger and yeah that's it here we have petunia who's a female uh, western or plains hognose snake we did a video about petunia and her health issues that she's been having she's actually a snow morph which is a pretty cool morph when it comes to western hognoses trying to get her back up to weight now again i'm not going to go into that we're going to have an update for you on petunia's health pretty soon here uh sneak peek she's doing really well she's probably our most active snake um, and she's diurnal so she's really fun to watch just a really entertaining snake to have and she's just so darn cute with the little shovel nose i guess the last thing i'll say about her is she can be pretty sassy she's actually the only snake we have that has bitten me and uh it was at that job where we got her again um they just didn't know what they were doing but i was showing her off to a bunch of kids and their grandparents and she thought my finger was food and she grabbed on me for a little while and these guys are rear fang venomous which basically just means you know, it takes them a long time to chew some saliva into you and some people react you know if you're the varying levels of allergy to it but I didn't have any problems, so uh, we're good, and she hasn't bitten me since, so. And now she looks like a little baseball. Now this is Atlas. Atlas is an African fat-tailed gecko, a species that we were really excited to get. You know, I have to say, I didn't think you could get any more calm or tame than like Roshi or leopard geckos in general, for the most part, not Kami, but um, just completely placid really not a care in the world honestly a bit cuter of a face too don't tell the leopards i said that but these big eyes the shorter snout um he's a stripe actually which is just awesome i think it's amazing we got him and his girlfriend uh, gaia who you'll see in just one second here we got them on a facebook group as well you know they were just whoever was just you know they were done they wanted to move on and we are happy to pick up where they left off so they actually have been cohabited like their whole lives um i don't know i don't know um they they do fine with each other you know i've been keeping a pretty close eye on them i haven't decided yet whether or not i'm going to separate them or keep them together permanently but it is what it is uh they're, again they're doing fine they don't really especially her i'm more worried about her she's a lot smaller than he is but she doesn't have any kind of markings on her or anything to indicate any bullying and nor have i seen it so yeah they're cohabbing so they've paired they've mated and she's gravid right now so i'm actually gonna as soon as i'm done with him here he's just amazing i love this little guy uh so as soon as i'm done with him here i'm gonna first make sure she's not either laying eggs or not too uncomfortable or anything like that but we are excited to see those eggs pretty soon here hopefully i get to show her off though so this is little gaia um oh my god just so beautiful i'm gonna put her back here pretty soon because she's pretty she's pretty big she's about to blow you know what i'm saying but um she's a stinger morph which is just this patterning right here that comes to a point uh by the tail yeah she's great they just she's so calm too uh she's ready to be a mama 
and we yeah we are just blown away with these fat tails and we love them so much we can talk a little bit about the psycho demon that we have now uh, i can't hold her um i could but uh she might get away she might bite me she a lot of things might happen uh our toke gecko so her name is bangkok ready if you're a muay thai kickboxing fan or a joe rogan fan maybe john wayne parr fan in that range uh you'll get that reference but um bangkok ready meaning she's ready to fight you know uh and she is she certainly is um it's it's probably more of a fear thing than it is a violence thing or an aggression thing so she's probably more defensive than she is aggressive but that being said she is very defensive so uh, she's been eating well for us she was pretty skinny when she came in uh, again she was not wild caught from their native population but she was harvested in florida where they are an invasive species and they're decimating populations of different things whether they were released pets or however they got in there but so i mean you know the two the two primary responsible options are either the animal dies because it's not supposed to be there or somebody keeps it as a pet so i figured you know i you don't want it's not its fault that it's invasive in florida just showed up there you know whether it was born in florida or it just got there but uh you know we're happy to have her it's one of those species that i've always wanted um and it's cool to see a more raw example of it than a captive bred tamed down one but yeah she's fun she's uh definitely really interesting well guys that's it that's every animal we have here at red ribbon reptiles you know it's uh it's gonna keep growing so we'll do more of these in the future but uh, we hope you guys liked this one. If you did, like and subscribe if you thought we had some interesting animals or you just think the more quote unquote basic reptiles that we have here like Bartaby are just cute as a button. Let us know down in the comments if you have any of the same species or you know what you think about them. Ask any questions you might have. Uh, we'll be happy to get back to you. Yeah, this was really fun. It was something that I see a lot of on YouTube and I was excited to do my own. So yeah, hope you guys liked it. You know, we're still posting two times a week and so we'll see you next time.